So guess who? It's me. <laughs> yeah. Tyrus Riley. Yeah, guess who is Tyrus Riley. Guess who Tyrus Riley? Yeah, man. It's a big track, you know. Track I take over the whole place. All right. And we see kids. And you know them say when a song boss, you normally see that come from the youth as well. Yeah. Was that the intention? I guess who or what was the vibe? Why? Why guess who? What is it about? Guess who is a spin-off of Guess Who's Coming to Dinner with the great Sly Rabbi and with sample the great Michael Rose Vice. You know what I mean? So. The song originally, guess who's coming to dinner? Not the dreadlocks. You know, at the time, people have them. They might fight against Rasta man, and mm -hmm. you know what I mean. The whole reservation, them society and Rasta. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. This is a different thing now. I say, guess who's coming to dinner? The first line, I say, I come to mash up the place. Nobody taking my space. I say, where well, yeah, I say? I'm so on hype. Come for mash up the place. What? It's not really hype and show off, you know. I know I bring something unique to music. Yeah. I know I have a different style and, you know, I'm really confident in the work when I'm really ready for put up. Mm -hmm. So I say, yo, I come from much of the place. Nobody taking the space. Not even talking to any one particular person. Just make you know, say, me, Taurus, different. I look different, mm -hmm. I sound different, I move different. So my little space are my way. And it's not a spirit of arrogance. It's just a spirit of confidence and yeah. knowing you have something to do. Yeah, yeah, man. We're confident, you know, and we don't have to brag about it. Yeah. You know, because I would say we, we bring something different to the music. You know, you have all the artists and me know, so we me do different. So that must say, but then as we move on, we talk about the reality that's going on. Man hungry, hungry hunger soon turns to anger, and then anger turns to danger. And I don't mean, want nobody to tell me, say, me, 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 me go on away at that mm -hmm. time, you know, because I'm hungry, and it turns to anger. And then nobody tell me about my temper when I get out. Which we've seen in the society where it yeah. play out. The so hunger is a parable. turn into hang to anger. Yeah, yeah, it's a parable. So a lot of the things that we used to go on, on the road right now, a lot of people are really hungry. Yeah. There's a word called hangry, you know. Yeah, it's <laughs> a cross really between hunger and anger. Yeah, yeah. The doctor will tell you that. Yeah. So sometimes when people are hungry, they don't think straight. Mm -hmm. So these are the same youths coming for dinner. They will come for your food. Mm. So there's still an undertone message in it, you know what I mean? There's a next line when I love and I say, you don't know nothing about pain. You never walk through the flame. Yeah. You never fend for yourself, and that's a shame. I never bonded a silver spoon in grave with my name. Because we don't glorify suffering and we don't glorify ghetto lifestyle. People feel like they were born in a luxury. Right. Real and truly, we know it is to suffer. And the real man who knows suffering and God don't want to go back there mm -hmm. and don't want even to even talk about it too much. You know what I mean? I'm going to brag and say, yes, me. No, I want to brag about the nice things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's a real, real nice song. And I love the vibes, I love the style. It is because it, it, it's, so, it's like real hard lyrics on yeah. this very hard upbeat rhythm. vibe, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, kind yeah. of a, a nice feel good rhythm. Yeah, man. It was that purposeful as well. So it is almost like if you now listen to this lyrics of the song and you're in the vibe of the, of, of the, the track itself, you know, you, 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 you don't get the essence of it. But yeah. it's going to allow you to slow down because then you come with some real message, with some real messages. So was it purposeful? Yeah. It, well, definitely the music have a purpose. Yeah. So that's the purpose. The purpose is to say, yo, <coughs> so the messenger uh, with a little swag. Can we get the roots music with a little pepper, you know? Mm -hmm. We don't make our roots music boring. So, you know, that's all purpose. Yeah. To get you thinking and still grooving. You, you, you nobody can <coughs> say that Taras Riley sounds the same on any track because you double with genres, you double yeah. with beats, double with all kind of stuff. And I know one time that, you know, people were questioning whether or not you're. Still Rasta, in addition to all of the other aesthetic cha aesthetical yeah. changes, the <laughs> tattoos, you know, the, you know, the, the swag, all yeah, of those yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you were just bent on expressing yourself and honoring your art. I never bent. I don't oh, bend. Don't, don't okay, bent so, on anything. So you never bent on anything, but you... I'm straight forward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bent on anything. No, so, okay, I'm so let, fast, let, let me forward. change the word, right? Yeah, but yeah. You, you, your aim is to ensure that your creativity and you, your essence of Taros comes out. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, Rasta, a lot of people have Rasta like boundaries and chains. Yeah. Rasta is really freedom, you know. Yeah, they, they would even say dumb, you know. Rasta is free, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, and it's, it's an internal thing. So, I mean, they have to really prove, say, me is more Rasta more than any other Rasta because Rasta is about unity and right. strength and linking up and we are chanting Rasta for our eyes, serious from our heart. So, 
we don't really come for mix religion in work. Yeah. You can know if you look good as a Rasta youth, because you can listen to the message, but I mean, Chris Brown is our Rasta, Christian is our Rihanna is our. Jesus Chris Brown. Le Lebron James is our. Lebron James. Yes, yeah, so Taro Soil is a human. My, 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 my father make love. Yeah. They make love. They never think about Rastafari, you know, as a man and a woman that do them things, mm -hmm. isn't it? And we come out, you know what I mean? We grow and we learn about our roots, our culture, and yes, we are 100% Rasta. Yeah. But you don't, don't look on my clothes, because Rasta surrender your heart and not your garments. Right. And don't look on the outside, because Rasta is an inside thing. Yeah. So, you So, you know, look on Jayu, look on Big Youth. Rasta man with gold teeth and ice oh, yeah. and green. Nobody never did look like... Look on Bob Marley jeans, them, right? <laughs> no Bob Marley <laughs> in this swag today. Young Tug and them guys, they follow like Bob Marley. Yeah. So, you know, it's just... We have to live in the world with people. We have to live amongst people. Me love life, me love people, me as a people person. So, I never want to be the Rasta youth where people can't talk to. I never want to be the one where, you know, you're afraid to eat your food around him. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't eat animals. I still can't reason with that bridge and show him, say, yo, so and so. And then they do him more. Right. So I'm not really there so for force no really jump on no one because at the end of the day, I won't be the one judging people. Yeah. You know what I mean? So and each man have to live with themselves. Yeah, so, so. I sing love song. But it's a Rasta man, I sing a love song. Mm -hmm. I sing root song, I sing ragamuffin song. I sing every kind of song for every feeling. Yeah. Because maybe if me, me I have to be in touch with my feelings. Yeah. So I'm going to ask what inspired the tattoos. Yeah, well, different inspiration. You don't know one is an African thing, to tell you the truth. And once upon a time, I get the biggest joke. I always want one, but I'm afraid. Mm, for the, what, the needle or no, just I'm afraid the, I just where people are going to say. Gotcha. I'm asking about Rasta born fear. Yeah. You know, and then at the end of the day, it's a personal choice, just like when you wear locks. The people who have them know what they mean to them. Mm -hmm. You know, saying so I'm not really saying certain things, but then there are certain things uh, they definitely know, sir. It's right. a part of me, what me just keep amongst me. If you look in a certain culture, you know, when we go to Hawaii and I check out them cultures there, when I check Africa too, and even Egypt, and not different things. It's something I check for. Right. Yeah, just like I said, relax, I'm not shave. Mm -hmm. People say, oh, we my plot up, it may never shave yet. Yeah. So I still am myself. Right. But you know what I mean? That don't mean, say, once again, all of these things are outside things. Mm -hmm. So I still have a mind, I still have a heart, I still bleed blood like every man. So I was going to ask you about the fact that, you know, because your social media as well, your following has grown a lot yeah. over the years. True, true. Um, and you've gotten more present and active on social media. Mm -hmm. um, the, 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 the aesthetic changes and the style and such is not for a call oh, for no, man. attention at all. No, we don't need attention. Um, not 11, I, not 12, right. not 13. Shan. So, so, so how do you manage to, to, one, maintain your relevance in a space that is always asking for people to change who they are? Well, people are naturally going to change. Change yeah. is a part of life. But you see me now on social media, you never go to me freak out myself on social media for get attention. Now yeah. 11, shan, now 12, shan, now 13. <laughs> now any shan. Shan. Any shan. <laughs> So you find, me means a music person first. So here we live in a time where you have social media where people want to see more than music. Some, sometimes I show them how I cook my food. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I mean? Sometimes I show them about something. But still, me still is a private person. Yeah. And me need that to be creative. Mm -hmm. So me just touch a leg a little bit to the social media. But certain personal things you'll, you'll never see because I'm not that type of person. Yeah. So if you are waiting for me to strip naked and it not going to work. Mm -hmm. If you are waiting for me to do some kind of thing outside of, you know, my character. No. Yeah. I don't think social media is for that. There's enough things where me didn't want to tell the world before Instagram and Facebook. I know me have the audience to tell them. Mm -hmm. So I want to tell them about Marcus Gavit too. Yeah. I want to tell them about some things too. And me as a youth, when I push religion, them can say, yo, you know, Satara, so it's a way. You know, me use it for different mm -hmm. things. Because you have other people who are give you a mix up. Yeah. So me not, once again, I don't follow people. Right. So I can assure you, say, all right, you never know this. Boom, you never know that. You never know this. You never and share the whole vibes. Mm -hmm. Do you have an opinion when you see people, I mean, especially industry members as well, push the glove, the envelope themselves yeah, to... I have no opinion, but I mean, my father used to tell me, say, opinion is like, you know, I know it's a whole lot of different, well, everybody have one. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> the great Jimmy, right? Yes, yeah, so, you know, opinions, everybody's entitled to opinion, yeah. but then when you vice your opinion, you also need to know that you put it out there for people, criticize your opinion. Right. So sometimes I keep my opinion to myself. So there's things I like, there's things I don't like. People like things about me and don't like them also. Yeah. So, you know, once again, me, 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 me salute the people who have the energy for social media and can't take it up every day. Because mm -hmm. me not really have the strength for it every day. But once again, 
I take good time with it. The strength for it every day. So you're 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 what people call yes, you're a celebrity public figure. Who how does Taros <laughs> draw okay. back? Well, Rasta, okay, okay fine. The human, but then because you get to, you know, you you have to absorb a lot of energies when you're when you're in mm -hmm. certain spaces and there are a lot of people coming up to you and Taros yeah. Riley and they're borderline glorifying you. So how do you yeah. now strike the balance with maintaining your sanity and your space and creating that boundary for you? That's a good question. So, oh, me look on it. I never look on myself away from people. Right. I don't see myself apart from people. I am away. I'm a people person. So you say bad line, glorifying. We never really look on it like that. You Taras, know? you had a woman crying at your concert. Yeah, then woman no cry all the okay. while. No, Even Bob no, Marley no, no. said no woman no cry. Not let's it, not mistake. Let's not mistake. She's crying because of the music. She right. wasn't crying because yeah. of me. Yeah, but you are the, you are, you're the messenger of the music. Yeah, no, you're I'm the just the person. The conduit that the music comes yeah. through. So then, I mean, I'm not the first and I won't be the last. But how did that make you feel though? It made me shed a tear too. But then, you know, I said, next woman in Europe with the whole of my face tattooed on her body too. And I said, you know, you see? And you know, it's so just it's love. Not it's not borderline, it's just <laughs> love. People express love. No, it's not borderline glorifying. No worry about she never said, <laughs> She never said, yeah, God. She just loved the music. And guess what, no? I want to tell you the truth. I want to tell you the truth, them things that humble me. Yeah. Because I remember looking up to artists and everything the artists do, me want to do too. Yeah. So I understand how music impacts people. But sometimes you sing a song, you know. And you sing reality, but somebody has got through it in a real life. Mm -hmm. So that to make people cry. Yeah. You know, the song, you know. Music is powerful like that. It is. And songs have made me cry already. So I may never that glorify nobody. So. So the bond you know, you know that Taras has to set up to ensure that he's not overwhelmed by... No, well, I just teach, I just saw my girl, mother yeah. and father. I mean, really, as again, I don't look at myself better than people. Mm -hmm. So if somebody, I cry over my song, I just say, wow. I want to look and say, wow, oh, that, you know that song there? Yeah. And, you know, it's just love. People express love different ways. You know what I mean? I'm on good fire shot. No. Mm -hmm. Somebody cry. Some, you know, people express themselves different. So you yeah. can't... Me not in a glorification. So, Saras, you've had a pretty crazy journey. How many years now you been in the business? Um, that's a good question. Me, business, me not music long before me not music business. Okay. So, me not music, long time. I'm in a music business. A good look at time now. Mm -hmm. I'm still learning about the business. A lot of busyness. So, it was what, New York and... Where else were you before you came to Jamaica? No, I'm in Miami, man. Miami? Yeah, 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 okay. I'm Miami, man. I'm back and forth with my father. I live with my father, you know. So my father, him don't get a lot of credit because mothers get it. But my mother, up so I'm there with my father, back okay. and forth, round and round. But then time comes when I go to high school, I'm going to high school Miami. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole vibes. And then, you know, <laughs> my brother, you know, because all the whole colleges and everything want me to go at them school and give me scholarship, you know. Yeah. But me love music, so me get enough trouble at school. Not bad trouble, but just chatting and girls and mix up and. Mother say, hey, no school, no music. Mother say, hey, send me back to my father. Ready you now. Was it was it also in a way to follow Jimmy's footsteps? Well, I mean, no, because me never like what him that do. Okay. It was just him a sing, and me a DJ, mm -hmm. so me wanna be bojo. I need to be Bojo, I need to be Sizzler, I need to what be... What was it about Bojo, why you wanted to be Bojo? Everything about him, him vice, yeah. him, him ear style, every damn thing. Remember one time I cut up my eyebrow and I have to hide it from my mother car. <laughs> if she ever see me dead! You know, them times we live in the garden and yeah. my big bread chain goes so, fip, 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 and I'm cool, man. Mm -hmm. Cut up my eyebrow, my car, my mother, see, you know. So if Bojo was, <laughs> that, was that have a big influence on your life, yeah. what, how do you feel about what has happened with his journey and his comeback? Well, him comeback is everybody that look and see where him come forward to do. Mm -hmm. So that I want him. But just music, you know, it was my brother, them, the generation before, them was Shabba, them. So we know the Shabba, them a great man. And Bojo was the thing where even though they were bigger, you just say, yo, this is the man. Him vice, him walking, him just the whole presence. And then, them time they are young youth and you try to find yourself. Mm -hmm. So once again, I say, you know, so music inspire you because, you know, you like to you see yourself. It's like, ah, it's like you see yourself. You did know, his, them thing did, did his incarceration impact you in any way at all? I yeah, mean, man. Having, uh, Musically. Did you talk to him that way? 
Yeah, musically, for sure, because, you know, being a fan, it hurt. You know what I mean? The videos know, so, you know, I'm an artist, them have, you know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody artists. And me and him did do some shows that was like a dream come true. Me and him performed in Madison Square Garden. Mm -hmm. Me and him performed some different, different places. But, you know, like I said, mm -hmm. theme journey is still alright, you know? Yeah. But definitely, if it's about musical influence, him is one. And anyone who know me, knows say, Father well, Mel. I tell the last time, say, when I have him browning, me have my own. When I left him browning, I left my own. <laughs> Anything about you say, Allah, Bojo is just the man. And then, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. So, Taras, I mean, the industry is changing, and every day you see an ex artist come up. Mm -hmm. um, and for the years that you have been a part of music and the music industry, does it concern you any at all, or does it give you this sense of urgency to want to keep up with the the changes of the industry and how um, you know somebody else is coming and somebody else could be coming and are you concerned any at all with that kind of I'm thing? not interested in anybody else coming you know? okay and my coming me deal with it I'm not busy about who's coming or going or yeah I guess who's coming to yeah I'm not busy who's <laughs> coming they have to come for them style and we have to you know I mean do my thing I don't compete with artists right I'm not trying to be better than that artist or that artist I tell you before me unique and me know that long time and you know, I just I just tap into it and it's the one thing. And to prove it, when me that write my song them, a lot of things them them tell me don't say it. When me write a song a lion paw, I'm mean, asking about hobby and science come a play. So I mean, people have talked about center mountain something. I'm mean, saying, hey, well, you don't like talk about it, me I go sing it. I'm mm -hmm. saying, you read, I'm gonna sing about hobby. I say, you mean? Mm -hmm. So me never saying that to say I never really tried to like compare. I look up to artists who are bad, I know, so they're rough. But I never want to overthrow Bojo. Yeah. Uh, you know? So it don't matter who's coming or who's going. I, I'm there. You're I'm unshaken. Me, no, I'm there for stay too. And I think I do a good job proving that. Yeah. And, you know, if you check it, one at a time when I start at my age and be a youth, like how I'm supposed to be, and start all up myself and start singing for two rhythm, people murmur. I mm -hmm. say, where am I doing switch? Hey. But I'm not switch, I'm just get different vibes, because I have all the vibes. So you used to wear, as you talk about switch and all of yourself and stuff, you used to wear some suits, thing and some... Yeah, because I'm a mafia. <laughs> some big suits. <laughs> and a really big some suit. Some big suits, yes, with, with a big jacket, and yeah, all of a sudden, and entire style got tight. No, I don't go tight, I still have room. Okay, alright, I don't go tight, I don't want to Can I say fitted then? Some no. fitted pants? Fitted. And, um, Listen up. Them fit me, no. Yeah, fit you. Some fit me, some things, them fit me, yeah. Right, so... But here we know. The thing is, all right, you don't know, this is Jamaica, we love Mafia show. So I just I watch Al Pacino and them and there's certain thing I want, but look like, you know, gangster, you yeah. know what I mean? This is a thing. You know, we see our father them step certain way, and we see our uncle them step certain way, and we see Clarks and Bali and Pinstripe and... Yeah. So when me I step out, I know something I have to look like that. That is the look. You see me? But then, we live and we learn, yeah. and we get back into ourselves. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know, people set the example before you. Mm -hmm. And then you just start be yourself. And then one of the main things, being on stage, you have to be comfortable. So if you check the world of fashion right now, everybody, comfort is key. Everybody not really, yeah. Yeah. You know, you are a woman, so you know it, bro. Mm -hmm. You rather walk up and down in your heels and you rather do what you do. Do what me I do, uh, exactly. every day. So fashion is an expression, just like music. So the more you grow up as a person, the more you become comfortable with how you look at yourself mm -hmm. in the mirror. How you dress, how you walk, how you talk, what you eat. Once upon a time, people have to tell you what to do. Yeah. You put on, you know, your mother said, uniform, and you have to do it like, mm -hmm. oh, it go. Then you grow big and say, cha, you have to relax. So all of these things is just growth as a human being. And sometimes the, the bad part is that artists grow in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. So good and bad, and in between, oh, yeah. people see it on the camera. Oh, so yeah. if me vex with that man and say, yo, bruh, camera. And it becomes news. And it's news. So your failures and your wins are all. Well, we never have a failure. Okay, well, we your lessons. No Let me say that then. Your lessons and your. Yeah, because, and, and, you know, it's just a higher consciousness. Right. Uh -huh. No man no bigger than for fear. Because people win and lose. But we can't call it a failure and look at it. Because we learn. Right. So, so the lessons. Yeah, so I don't really want like rust in the bash here, but you know. No, what no, mean? no, I get, I get it. Yeah. I get it. I understand completely. So your lessons and, and, and your. And Tap your... in front of the camera. Yeah. So my father, rest in peace, 
people witness me, I go through a vulnerable time in my life. I have had a concert, I have had enough thing. I'm a father, drop out enough people when them father gone, you know, see them. Right. You know, me that got through that and do music, and me is not the first again, but me never experienced that yet. Mm -hmm. So, you know, only part things gone. Yeah. Where people get for watch, and it's social media time now, so everybody take out them phone. But you know, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. So it's Grammy nomination season. Um, yeah. Is Taurus Riley concerned at all about winning a Grammy? Yeah, but I tell you, me also concerned about what my granny think. Okay. You know what I mean? So we have the Grammy. So would your granny want to win a Grammy? Uh, for sure. Okay. So you know, that's what we're doing. The new album is very, 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 very bad, very rough. So it definitely have the Grammy potential. And it's next year we're gonna drop it in a March. We're gonna march out. I'm mean, gonna see why yeah. it's as good as anybody else's album or better. I'm mean, gonna brag again. We mm -hmm. just know the effort we put in. So if Grammy for forward, Grammy for forward. Over the years, um, have you had a position concerning no position. the wins of Grammy, the Grammy reggae category? No, 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 no. I don't have any position about the Grammy reggae category. I remember now, the Grammy is an American Music Award. That's not my biggest thing. What my, is your biggest thing? My biggest thing is touching people's hearts. Like when you say, people are cry Africa. Mm -hmm. That is my thing to make my music make an impact. Some of the greatest artists in the world never get a Grammy. Some of my favorite artists never get a Grammy. You know? And that don't mean that the music is not meaningful and purposeful and that them I'm a big artist said we. Right. And then check it. When you win a Grammy then what? You stop? No. <laughs> you know what I mean? So Grammy's nice to put up in the house and say, yeah. You know, but we it's more than Grammy man. With yeah. no disrespect to the Grammys, but it's more than Grammy. There's a mission in music that is bigger than awards and plaques and trophies and mm -hmm. shit like that. Mm -hmm. Music mean more than that. The man them before me never had to think about Grammy. <laughs> they come at me and watch the Grammys, but it's the truth. You know? Yeah, we want to make music that impact people's life. So, so the Grammys, mm -hmm. I think a lot of artists, Jamaican artists, would have wanted to, to do more and, uh, and to have a chance. Mm -hmm. um, a chance to, to get into Why? the Grammy category. Why you think so? Because I think they're very it. I think it, it authenticates for a lot of them. You think it work. really? You think it really? real and truly is that significant when they really check out what it is you what tell about me what have you found in terms of in well, terms of identifying the significance among your your colleagues in the industry when, when i was a little youth at uh, like i tell about bojo and sizzle and them and they, one of the things that was important to the artist them was dj of the year from where from, from, from jamaica, jamaica in jamaica gotcha. when we get dj of the year you know so you're the boss but wouldn't you agree that well, that's... No, no. Okay. let me show you something so now that was Jamaica has become very nice, you know, whether we like it. The world is becoming a small place with internet and it's everything. It's really a globe though. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so once upon a time you could have looked on an artist and say, yo, that is a Jamaican DJ. Yeah. No, you don't know. You don't know. You have to look and say, yo, and maybe wait till him talk. Mm -hmm. so, so our ambitions are different. So once upon a time a man DJing, he want DJ for the year. Yeah. Him, him work for that. He say, yo, my must get DJ for the year Christmas. Or, you know, the community, you'd have like the crowning of Frisco Kid mm -hmm. or the crowning of Terra Fabulous. Right? And you think that carries more? No, not more, but it was something that we did really champion and look forward to. Okay. It was a big deal. When a man gets singer for the year, you know, say, my baddest thing. And feelings are carry bad mind, this man for DJ of the year, man at Bilal song. And I said, them want pies in me, catch you, me get DJ of the year. And big things, talking. A man did want a number one. A man, yeah, and if you get Grammy, you know, say, thing upon another level. But now, because of social media and the world becoming what it is, in my opinion, since you ask me, yeah. it's like everybody want a success story some way. So a man just want the Grammy for me have it. So this is the thing I was going to lead, lead to asking now. So do you feel that we have stopped praising, celebrating our artists with the different acknowledgements and awards? Yeah, and locally. Such? Locally? I do. And also, do you think that for those that exist still, so like the Jari Awards and such, yep. I don't know if I, I, I don't I don't know if 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 I if I feel from my seat that or artists still revere those acknowledgements, but I it think really that you it an up. international award as more significant because then they no. feel if you don't go far and go boss and get an attention, you you don't really boss. No, well, it is a double-edged sword. So the artist, to me again, and I'm included. Because me made the mistake already. You have a lot of awards you keep on you. 
where I think the artist could support more. Right. And I fall victim to that sometimes. Sometimes, we right. should I really fight more to support some things. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So that's one thing. And then, on the flip side, I don't think the people are really big up the artists the right way. Right. We don't have a lot of platforms to do it. You know? So, the two sides for blame. Right. But then, once again, it's just about status. You know, mm -hmm. Jamaica people, we're very proud. So, a man wants something that nobody not have. Yeah. A man wants something that's hard to, you know, attain. So, a man says, oh, this is a Grammy. Mm -hmm. So, a man says, I have this. I'm a Grammy kid. You know what yeah. I mean? It's a thing. And it's cool. And it's a work, you know. You don't see people from England want Grammy too. Mm -hmm. The whole world wants a Grammy because them set up them thing nice and pretty. To make it look like this big medal. You know what I mean? But it's not the world. And we're not bashing it. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, we want some things on there for me and things to we just like that. Yeah. Because like when I was a little boy, DJ of the year was a thing. It, uh, oh, win Grammy, win Grammy, that's the next thing. But people want it. Me didn't want to be DJ for the year one that time. When me at DJ, me want to say, hey. So you, you had like tasty challenge trail and those things. Yeah, I'm going to taste you one time, they run yeah. me off still. They do? I'm going to taste you one time, they run me off. Hey, me not run you off, I'm going to boy off. Yeah, I'm going to sing two children. Yeah, I'm going to tell you the experience. No, tell me which side I'm going to sing. No, tell me which side I'm going to tasty challenge trail and sing. No, 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 no. It wasn't Beanie Man, no. Man, no. Me, remember, so Beanie Man a big man for me. Me know, but I'm So the last tasty. The last tasty. It's doing a 2000 hour. You end it with your boy No, it was no man. No man. It was like the last. Tasty. Okay. Like, so, can't remember saying no. Uh, so, you mean them running off? So, we go up to go sing what they say running off. I know that. We're not going to tell you. You know, so no, you have to tell me. We're not leaving. All right, up so, sing, here all right, so you know, if you, so right. have, if you sing one song. Yeah. But me this item, I will sing two songs. Oh, yeah, push it. All right. So, but first, but me, I try to chop the time, you know, man. You were there so, as a performer, as a contestant? I'm going to tell you something in the challenge. Okay, bro. sorry, that's why I make sure. That's so why I make no, that clear. I get big injury, you know, my father and Jimmy Riley's son, and I say, Yeah, and is it? <laughs> so, I sing a song. I don't remember which song it was. Maybe one of my fathers. I sing a song. Alright. And I say, What? And I say, Yo, we can't DJ to you know. I'm going to give them my lyrics. What was the crow's reaction at this time? I love it, man. Alright. Because I say, Yes, little Jimmy, go on. I mean, DJ lyrics and thing, and what I'm telling now, you know, I had a mood at the time, you know. So, the lyrics did draw out still. Okay. So, after a while, the punchline take too long to come. <laughs> so, they never boom me, they just start clapping, me and I say, Yes, all right, cool. Did come you leave on. same time where you thought they were cheering you on? Okay. You know that one of them? My love, you know. <laughs> <laughs> my love, you know, yes, sir. My God. Yes, the big my up. people. My love, you know. And, Whoop. Was that your most embarrassing moment? <laughs> well, I can't. I'm still alive. But I mean, embarrassment normally kill people. But you know, no, I mean, me, me, you never know down the road. I mean, but um, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, so we did take it for jokes. Still, it yeah. was embarrassing, but it was a, it was a joke. It was a nice joke. Okay. Um, and next embarrassing, all right? You want to tell about the embarrassing yes, moment? Yes, tell me about the moments. You know, say a mix up. No, I just, I, I just want to know because here you I just know, want to know. Yeah, it humanizes your team because here. Let what, me people, not humanize. What just know, that? People Hold know that Tara listen had his moments where. Let me show you what humanize me. If they have to go back to the drawing board blood. and say, listen, we have to go fix up the lyrics One, that kind of punchline take too long to come. So we humanize me, <laughs> fingers. <laughs> Tell me, so, yes. All right, so it, all right, I write again, talk a thing now. So all right, so me, Christopher Boulevard, right? Off a of Redis Road, Main Street. Danny Brownie, Boss Place, Goofy, Red Rat, Archive, TOK, you name it, General Degree, Stitchy, Sun. Who That's again? Heavy. No man, Mad Anjo, Chrissy D, Lady G, Main Street, that place. Remember me want DJ you now? Of course. So, when my father gone up a bear, so I place, and me gone up Main Street and dead end, you know? So now, I get a chance to rise one of the rhythm then. So I'm going to shoot the rise rhythm. Never forget. Danny Brown is shooting at Dave Cole, that they are in Egypt. Man. Enough people there. Shoot the ram. I'm shy you now. But I know my song sound good. I start singing. DJ, me a DJ to myself, but them say me a sing. So I'm going to shoot the school face, left from Brown, yeah. 
Why you are coming to me there, just my job. Screw free. And I sing it. The man stop the tape and start laugh. Him laugh, him laugh, him laugh, him laugh, him laugh, him laugh. At the lyrics or at his... Him just laugh and I don't know why him a laugh. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. a vex, I'm 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 a vex, And the man laugh. And I say, where are you doing? I say, what do you mean? I say, what are you doing, Mr. Riley? Where are you doing? DJ, say, yeah, DJ. And I say, yeah, man, what do you mean? It's the lyrics, huh? Yeah. He said, look here. The two nights, I'm going to record you. But you're not DJing. I really sing here, kind of half sing. Mm -hmm. You're just going to learn how to sing the right way and come. Come again, car. Yeah, and then the DJ take this and sing if you sing. I'm vex. Because you wanted to be a DJ? No, I was DJing. You know, my mind. Right. But I know that in my ear. In okay. my ear, melody, and in my ear, me. Car, ear, 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 no. The man say, so him stop me, you hear me now? What me do, flat? Him say, ha, ha, which DJ know about flat? And it, you know, see some, come, you know me? That is the term for singers, yeah, yeah. So. exactly. But you remember my father, them man, right. you know what I mean? Right, yeah, get up the terminology. Now I know what it is. Yeah. So the man, them laugh, and them record me still, and the song go out and everything. But them laugh, I'm me wicked. But even them time, they know, me no know, say, a stylish, me I get stylish. Because mm -hmm. these things, preparing me for now, when me had some style, where who oh, can you them a go feel me say them begin a body. Me I sing with that style. All right. And if you check what I go on right now in the music now, I saw the singer them sing. Them sing with style. Yeah. The long boring singing days kind of dated. People want to move the music and sing along and yeah. you know in every kind of style. If you listen, the great singer them Dennis Brown, Barry Sutton, name them. Them sing with style. Mm -hmm. So me the thing say you would have to have a vice, a certain kind of vice. But you can't sing with melody with your voice and get your own style. Yeah. So that was like training wheels. Your biggest audience, so for me, are females. Um, I like and you, talk. Yeah. Why is it that? Because it, it's obvious. For, and, and as well, like you've done enough in terms of fueling that audience as well with all the songs that you do. That's crazy. For women rights and defending women. Like and that's weird enough. You know. Come here and I love a boy in the music. You know, yeah, right. Anyway, no, I tell so. you, you, you know, the ads are going to take off them shirts and I wind up. And me, yeah, you know, you long me in the gym and now I know my shirt can't come out. You do it in a different way. <laughs> no, me can't. Me, me sing Roots love song to Oman. Yeah. That's why them check for me. Right. So, so me so, now tell a girl, say, I will lie down in the road and. No, don't feel no way, Uncle B. Um, like, I'll jump off and kill myself. You know, I sing we don't that. want anybody. Me to just say, me love you just the way you are. If you wake up in that morning and. Yeah. Two little come kind of your eye. Nothing around. So because you, <laughs> I mean, I love you just the way you are. I, if you know, you can't cook, me cook and you wash. Yeah. And them loves and them, when I'm far away, just hold it and nobody. So what you do? Something. But what 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 that does <laughs> like, is that, that it, it lifts up a woman and it makes her feel very Leave confident. Up woman. And it and it and it and it also plays almost like a subtle advocacy for the celebration and respect of women. So you when make you it see, sound fancy. no, seriously, <laughs> let me tell you, when you see though, when you see like like movements now. For women and women rights, yeah. like Me Too movements and such. Um, do you, do you, do you, do you think that 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 women are in a right space for that kind of coming together community to talk about the rights of women and what the actions are that they've taken, like against Listen, people like Bill Cosby? You're gone far, man. Tell me. You're gone too far. Tell me. Well, tell me. Me just means a man will get along better with woman. Okay. Me have more woman friend more than man Bridget. I think that women are more honest. So, you know, woman we just talk straight and tell her, say, yo, change your shirt. When you're Bridget, we see you in a shirt and it's super like him, not see. So, me and woman get along. Now, my mother have Bridget for years. So, you know, me just always mindful of the things um, when I tell woman. You know what I mean? That's all. Me know say woman control enough things. Because if you check in at the house, if the woman vex, then you know it's a problem. Right. So, me, me can't take all of them things that we are telling about. Yeah, yeah, it's not that heavy. It's not no lover boy. <laughs> I swear to God. I mean, it's not no big woman advocate, activist in a not. No, I just <laughs> respect woman and just try my best. I know, say, you know, when me I talk to her in a love song or even talk to her in real life, me just try be natural. I swear, I don't have no. Every woman where I watch this can tell us, I'm not a lyricist. Where I say, your eyes are like this. No, I'm not them something. We just talk. So you just speak from a place of 
me just try to be natural. and vulnerability and natural. Yeah, me just try to be natural, yeah. you know? Me try to be natural with my love song them. And me try to be natural in a real life. I'm not at home. But what are your thoughts though? When you look at all the actions that have been taken against men who... Yeah, yeah well, you know, if you have this woman, you know, that go already. Yeah. Man, I'm a violent woman, you know? We don't like rapists in Jamaica, you know? I mean, you know? We defend woman. But for me, if you take this big lover boy title, it's funny. Warm to your my youth. Wrap up, wrap up. Wrap up, you want me to wrap up? Wrap up the start, wrap up the start. <laughs> oh, well, we finished. Yeah, we finished. It's okay, end it, no? End that thought? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that me say. We don't really take no lover boy kind of vibes of in the music. We just try to deal with a woman and try to say, you know, yeah. be natural. Because a lot of men lie mm-hmm. in these love songs and say, I am the best lover in the world and I'll give it to you all night long and I'll yeah. do this and I'll give you roses and be a lie the man I'm telling mm-hmm. that song, you know. And when the woman I say, all right, Mr. Man. Yeah. Womp, womp, womp. So me just say, look, you know, when I'm far away, take time, number two, is in. <laughs> I swear, I will be there when you need me to tell you you're beautiful. Yeah, man, you're beautiful. True. Yeah. I love you just the way you are. True. She's royal. Yeah, man, come here, king. So she's royal. She's a queen. Yeah. Beautiful. Africa loves you. I love Africa. How was that? How was that? How was that? Like, how was the experience recently when you went down to there? To Uganda, you, I can. Yeah. Both. Uganda, with a big crowd, you know. That was cool. And, you know, this revolution I go on down there now with this Bobby Wine bridge so the people them, the people them love him, yeah. and the government I like him. I don't know much about politics, but me just know so the people them check for him. So that was interesting to be there. It was like a tense time, cause just him name, cause of vibes. Of a big crowd, about twenty-seven thousand people yeah. in a stadium. Nice concert. I also recorded a song. Cause it was the first time I go to Africa now I really tried to place them on. I go to the River Nile. Mm-hmm. Them say Uganda is a pearl of Africa. So, I really see why them say that. Come and see some special things there. Yeah. So that was really like an African experience. It, as, a, as a Rastaman, did yeah. you feel more connected to the space? You know, more connected? Yeah. Not really. Not more than Jamaica. But I mean, we have a spiritual connection to Africa. And right. we always champion in Africa. So, you know, the Rastaman dream is always to be there in Africa mm-hmm. and visit. And, you know, one day repatriate and them thing there. So that was real cool. You know, from where I look at you, I'm going to worry about Africa. We want to go there. Mm-hmm. So that was cool. Kenya you were now. offered like land and wives. Are you going to take the offer? Where, well, yes, sir? I said you were offered land and wives. We heard I you. was offered land yeah, and wives. Where you get that from? Weren't you offered land and wives? As... You can't believe everything we're hearing in that interview. Anymore. It's not here, it's what we saw. Feel free to come back to Kenya. Um, um, uh, you know, marry a couple of wives, get a few houses. I'll give Listen. you some land. You know, I'm a generous person like this. I'd zip. like to see you settle down. Look here, zip. <laughs> He's I not talking. I'd He's... be the fifth. He's not talking about that today. I plead. He's... Listen. Okay. He's pleading the fifth hand is I up there. I plead the tenth right now. <laughs> you can't believe everything you see on social media. So, yeah, I, I are mean, you going to take the offer of the land the and the land wife? and the wife? Right. <laughs> In Africa. I mean, before we get to Africa, we got to talk about Jamaica. Okay. So. <laughs> Gotcha. Step by step. Step by step. Yeah, so moving about the concert now. Yeah. Yeah, because the concert we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. <laughs> concert was nice. It was really nice. It was intimate. Big crowd, but still nice, you know? We sing the songs, and we get to see the impact of the songs. And that's what I really love. So, Africa, I want to go to Ethiopia. Mm-hmm. That's a dream come true. I want to manifest that dream. And it's going to take me a little time on. But different place. Right. Mm-hmm. The album has what kind of feel? The album has every kind of feel. Yeah. I tell you, it's T4000, you know. Do you have a name for the album yet? No, but you have to just call me T4000. T4000, gotcha. Like I hear about Andre 3000. Right. Oh, yeah, oh T4, I get you. 000. Okay. Yeah, but the thing, every feeling, is a song for every feeling. We have dancing songs, we have listening songs, we have love songs, we have culture songs. I've always been doing that, but I've never said that. So on the same album before, you, you get Be Aware and you get Stay With You on the same album. Mm-hmm. You get um, Superman and Rastafari and my eyesight on that album. So I always verse. But it's just that here come social media and cameras and everybody recording everything. 
So it's coming like me have to reintroduce people and let them say, yo, what bad you know? Mm-hmm. I have only a different style. I can't give you this style, simple blessing. I can't give you a graveyard. I can always, you know, give you yeah. a style. And I really, really, really take that serious. Because I feel like the man that we do one thing can only do one thing. Mm-hmm. But the man that we can do more than one thing should do more than one thing. Mm-hmm. Powerful is like a rap ballad. Mm-hmm. Different. Memory with Marshall Soka. So I can do any kind of style of music. Any, and I can do it well. Yeah. And so why not do it? Some people don't want to hear love songs. Some people want to hear some other songs. So I have every song for everyone. I most can find something. Even I like that one, no worries, sir. One round of fear. And you're not concerned with uh, people say, oh, Tyrus are dabbling at too much things that they must say. I'm not dabbling. You know, okay. I'm not dabbling. I'm do, do the thing. Yeah. Dabble. Concern. No, mommy, I do the thing, man. Nobody don't get up and eat the same food every day. Tell you, me am a vegetarian. I don't eat no animals. And I don't eat the same food every day. Mm-hmm. Why should I sing the same song every day? Mm-hmm. Leave that to the people who can only do one thing. If, them, if you can only do one thing, stay in your lane. Me can do more than one thing and me show people that. Yeah, so, yeah. The new album, Taros? Yeah, new getting project. Getting it when? In March, hopefully. We're marching out in March. Yeah. Yeah, definitely for the new year. And, and only for different seasoning in the planet, only for mm-hmm. different flavors. I'm really excited about it. Yeah. yeah. Any collaborations with anybody? Yeah, we have a lot of collabs, um, producer-wise, artist-wise. I don't want to talk about it, I want to sing about it. Yeah. Yeah. So how are you, how are you going to drop it now? How are you going to release it? I'm not drop it, I'm release it. Okay. Now. So how are you going to release it then to the world? Yeah, well, you don't know. All digital platforms are sure. And See, now I'm going to hold like a listening party. I'm going to go on. Just wait till the New Year starts. Right, Just wait okay. till Christmas. I'm going to say Christmas, but I'm a Christmas show first. Yeah. That's December 20th. Oh, so. you still going to do it? Yeah, Good. I always do it. Right. It's a gift of That's music. True. So that first, okay. which I bless no man, curse. curse. Yeah. You know what I mean? So just move through. And the album for the New Year, so ready up, man. Have any name for it? Yeah, we have a name, but I don't want to tell you yet. That's Hint for the me. next. <clears throat> no, it's Tara Sile and only for different. T4000. Mm, all right. Cool. Yeah, so just anything you think T4000 would have found it. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be good. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be hot. So give thanks. I don't know. We're going in. It's good to see you. We're going. Good to talk to you. Alright. All right. Until we meet again. We're not meet. We're just going to link up. <laughs> link up more. Take time walk fast. Yeah. <laughs>